Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about estimating sums and differences. So this is one of those topics in math that I feel like are really useful in like your daily life. You know, there's a lot of math you learn uh, in school and in books, um, but you don't use it every day. And this is something that you can actually use and it's actually useful to be able to do this. So what we, what we mean by this is, say you have two numbers, say you have uh, 856 and you want to subtract uh, 278. But you know you don't have you know like you know a piece of paper with you. Um, you're out at the street somewhere, and you just want to do like quick math. So what you would do is you would round to like the nearest uh, biggest place value in this problem. So that would be the hundreds place. So the 856, because this is a five, you round it up to 900. So you round to the hundreds place. And then the 278, because it's seven, so this is bigger than five you round this up, so it's 300. So you round them both up to the closest hundreds. And then you just subtract nine minus three, and that gives you 600. So this is quick math that eventually, hopefully, you can do mentally. You know, you see the 856, the five is, you know, it's bigger than, it's five or bigger, so you round up, so you go to 900. 278, oh, okay, it's bigger than five, so you round to 300. Okay, nine minus three is six, so 900 minus 300 is 600. So it's a nice way to get a quick figure. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing if you don't have a calculator or, you know, for whatever reason, you want to just do some, some mental math. Let's say we had 425 plus 137. And you want to do some, some quick math here without having to do the long addition method. So you just round each one to the nearest hundred, again, to the closest to the biggest place value which is hundreds so the two here is smaller than five so this one rounds down to 400 plus likewise this one here also rounds down because this is smaller than five so it's about 100 so you add them up and you get 500 so it's a nice way to estimate numbers you know if you have 425 plus 137, you say, okay, that's about 400, that's about 100, you add them up, you get 500. It's a nice way to do mental math, and it's a good habit to get into, uh, you know, when you're going out through your day, if you have numbers and you're concerned about, you know, what the sum might be, uh, this type of math is really, really useful. Let's say we have uh, smaller numbers. Say we have 54 minus 18. You say, ah, you know, if you, if you if you subtract those a long way, you're going to have to borrow some things and, <laughs> you know, carry some stuff. Well, you don't have time for that sometimes. So what you do is you round it to the nearest 10 because that's the biggest place value. So 54 is close to 50, right? So you round this one down because the 4 is smaller than 5. And then 8 is bigger than 5, so you round this one up to 20. So 54 minus 18 is kind of like 50 minus 20, so it's roughly 30. So... It's a pretty good answer. It's a pretty good answer. Uh, let's let's do another one. Let's say we had um, 93 minus 28. Again, the biggest place value here is the tens place. So you want to round each one to the tens place. So the 93 will round down because the 3 is smaller than 5. So it's 90. And then this one will round up because the 8 is bigger than 5. So it's like 30. And even if you don't know about place values and about the rules, you know, 93, you can look at it and say, that's pretty close to 90, you know, and 28, ah, that's pretty close to 30. And now it becomes easy subtraction, right? 9 minus 3 is 6, so you get 60. That's what we mean by uh, estimating sums and differences. It's just a nice way to add and subtract numbers uh, when you're in a situation where you just need to do some quick mental math. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.